In this video, we take a look at gangster Leon Cullen and the story behind his seized Rolex, which he recently described in court as, quote, not a big deal. Leon Cullen was a high-profile gangster who led a £300,000 per month cocaine and firearms trafficking ring with his twin brother, Anthony, before fleeing to Dubai. Leon spent two years at large as Warrington's most wanted man before finally being detained by police in the UAE in January 2020. A court heard how he and twin Anthony sat at the top of an organised crime group which had a monthly wage bill of £50,000 plus bonuses of up to £10,000. This was followed up with accommodation incentives for fellow conspirators with their 20 strong gang netting profits that peaked at £290,000 each month. The twins were well established in criminal circles, but their downfall was swift. Leon masterminded an 18-man drugs cartel which shipped at least 5 kilos of cocaine worth around £300,000 across the northwest over the course of 6 months. The operation began to crumble in late 2010 however, after a series of arrests and raids. Cheshire Police's Operation Cortex ultimately saw members of the organised crime group in prison for nearly 100 years. Leon, then aged 24, was locked up for 9 years and 8 months. Anthony took over the running of the gang, but he was swiftly caught by police. He received five and a half years in 2012 after the forces Operation Knock discovered the drugs factory in a caravan at a site in Rixton. It was not long before they were back in business, re-entering the drugs trade almost immediately upon their respective releases from prison. A fresh police investigation centering on the Cullens opened in 2016. Leon splashed cash on a Maserati as his outfit supplied more than 50 kilos of cocaine over the course of 18 months. But a series of dawn raids in January 2018 saw 19 properties in Warrington searched and 18 men arrested. He was not one of them though, having fled to the European mainland. Anthony had been plotting to escape for Portugal, but was ultimately unsuccessful, detained in Dover hours after the strikes. More than £200,000 in cash and 3 kilos of drugs were seized from the Cullen Gang, as was the largest cache of working firearms discovered in Cheshire Police's history. Five guns and ammunition were recovered from a loft of an address on Rylands Drive in Carrington Park in July 2017, while another was discovered in a wicker basket at the foot of a bed. Described as the gang's controller and director, Anthony received 27 years behind bars in January 2019 after admitting conspiracy to supply cocaine and being convicted by a jury of conspiracy to supply firearms. Conspirators were locked up for 185 years in total. Meanwhile, an absent Leon found himself name-checked in court during several high-profile trials. He was also linked to several alarming incidents including shootings and grenade attacks. During this time, Cullen had spent a period of time in Spain before moving to Dubai under a false identity and with a fake passport around early 2019. Efforts to detain Leon, including a £5,000 reward offered by Crime Stoppers and a van bearing his mugshot, had finally borne fruit. As the two-year anniversary of his escape approached, detectives finally got their man. On January 3rd, 2020, Leon Cullen was held on an international arrest warrant wearing a £23,000 Rolex watch and with nearly £5,000 in cash. He was detained at gunpoint and brutally beaten before being taken into custody and battered again. Cullen spent 13 months in custody in the UAE, where conditions for prisoners are notoriously harsh. In February last year, he was returned to the UK and admitted conspiracy to supply firearms, conspiracy to possess firearms and ammunition, and conspiracy to supply cocaine. He was jailed for 22 and a half years in May 2021. Cullen was brought back before Liverpool Crown Court this week for a hearing under the Proceeds of Crime Act. Francis Wilmot, prosecuting, outlined how he had previously been told to repay a total of £22,820 of his ill-gotten gains, consisting of cash and a Rolex watch found in his possession upon his arrest. The gang boss was found to have benefited to the tune of £350,000 through his involvement in the criminal underworld. However, the matter had to be put back before a judge on Monday as the aforementioned watch sold for £3,000 more than had been expected at auction. Due to his additional sum, the Crown asked for the available amount stated on the POCA order to be varied to £25,560.48. 
appearing by a video link to HMP Frankland, Cullen spoke to confirm his name before saying it was quote, absolutely pointless being here. He added quote, I agree with the amendment, it's not a problem. I asked for my solicitors to deliver with this. As his counsel was about to address the court, Cullen further said, quote, just sign it off today mate, it's not a big deal, they're keeping it anyway. Cullen was given a statutory three months to pay the sum, although the funds are already in the hands of the authorities.